Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the surface element on your range. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is either a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to pull the range far enough forward that we can unplug it or if it's a hardwired range, locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. Now next, we're going to start by opening up the door and then locate two screws, one on either side that secure the top to the mounting bracket and remove those screws. You can then close that door up. And we're next going to lift up on that main top and it will hinge in the back corners. We'll raise it up to a full height and then we'll use something to prop that up so that we can work at it from the bottom side. I've just taken a small piece of plywood and made a little prop rod that will fit in under that cross bracket on the front and in underneath the lip on the front of the top. So our first step will be to remove the wires from the terminals on the terminal block. So just pull those all off. And if they're snug, use our needle nose pliers grasp just the terminal and then pull them straight off. We'll next need to remove this support rod and it's secured on one end with a screw so we'll remove that. We'll also need to support that element to the top as we're doing that. Let the bracket out of the way lift the element down and discard it. It's also a good opportunity to clean the bottom surface of that top if there's any dust or dirt on there. So just inspect that new element, make sure it's in good shape. Hold that in place and we'll make sure that the hook at the end of that support rod is engaged. Pull it across the bottom of the element and then reinstall the retaining screw. And then we're ready to reconnect the wires to the terminals. And make sure they're all nice and secure. And if they're a bit loose, just gently crimp those with your needle nose pliers. and then we can close it up. And lower the main top. We'll reinstall the screws on the bottom. And then close that door back up. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.